don't tell Chris Waddell he can't climb a mountain. When I get there, I want them to go, wow, I never thought that that was possible. This week, Waddell will try to become the first paraplegic to summit Mount Kilimanjaro on his own power. Paralyzed at 20 in a freak ski accident, Waddell went on to become one of the most decorated Paralympians ever. But still, he's tired of just being a guy in a wheelchair. How in the world can somebody like you feel invisible? It's really easy to dismiss somebody, to look at somebody and, and dismiss them just completely. And so by getting to the top of the tallest mountain out there, they have to look at me a little bit differently. At 19,340 feet, Kilimanjaro is the tallest peak in Africa. It's a so-called walkable mountain. But when you're paralyzed from the waist down, it's all about your arms and your will. The physical part is exhausting, but the mental part is a whole lot more exhausting when you think, OK, well, I've got to go from here to there. And you're thinking in five-foot increments? You want to ascend a 19,000-foot mountain in five-foot increments? After a scouting trip to Africa last year, he plans on doing it just like any other climber. Five days up, two days down with this highly engineered four-wheel mountain bike. Mars rover married to arm pedal power. His legs are tucked underneath him. It allows me to steer just by going left and right. And he steers with his chest, choosing his route like a rock climber. And I'll go five feet, and it'll be like I just ran a 400-meter sprint. On the final push to the summit on an incline similar to this, Chris Waddell will have to climb 4,000 vertical feet. To make that happen, he'll be secured to a winch and he'll have to pedal himself up a rope. Spinning on. The fixed rope through a converted sailing winch will give him traction. The only thing you can think about at that point is just one revolution and then stop and catch your breath. In a project two years in the making, financed by grants and donations, Waddell assembled an extraordinary team in Crested Butte, Colorado. You'll come from your crank. To help him train, and refine is now near indestructible bike. An off-road race car designer built the frame. An engineer and triathlete refined the gears and added wheels four times as big as his old ones, all under the guidance of expedition leader Dave Penny. I don't know as I've ever seen an athlete dig so deep and go so hard. If Chris can do this, he's setting a new standard for anyone in a wheelchair. While in Africa, his foundation, One Revolution, will provide wheelchairs to Tanzanians like Emmanuel. The only way to say thank you for the opportunities that you have is to give somebody else an opportunity. I see myself in a lot of these kids. He wants the world to see them too. When you get to the top of that mountain, what are you screaming to the world? I'm asking the world to see, to see other people like me. And to envision the possibilities rather than the limitations. Karen Brown, CBS News, Crested Butte, Colorado.